Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So uh, on this one I decided to make a bug hotel um, also known as like an insect hotel or a bee hotel and uh, I wanted to use completely just scrap materials so as you can see there I've got some uh, some blocks from pallets and uh, they're made of like chipboard I think and I've got a piece of pallet wood and an old log so the first thing I wanted to do is to make kind of the main body of, um, of the bug hotel so for that I'm going to make a box shape out of this uh, piece of pallet wood and then I'm going to put those blocks of chipboard inside of that so I cut two shorter sides and then two slightly longer sides so that it makes a box shape So the idea of these bug hotels is to attract bugs and give them like a refuge, somewhere to stay. And that will in turn um, attract other wildlife into the garden, such as like frogs, um, newts and birds, things like that. There you can see um, that's like a dry fit and that's fine. So now I'm going to uh, put that box together. So I use some wood glue and uh, I'm using some MDF screws and I'm just going to go ahead and pilot the holes and put that together. Right, so now the box was made, I decided to uh, fit a back to the box. Um, so I had some scrap pine, which I think came out of an old drawer. So I just cut out the, uh, the shapes that I needed with um, a jigsaw. And I attached it with some uh, panel pins. So the next thing to do was to give that a stain. Um, the main body, I just gave it a, a coat of um, some dark fence stain water-based. So now for these blocks, I wanted to drill some holes in, and this is where all the different types of insects are gonna live. So um, what I did is I alternated the sizes. I drilled some larger holes and then some smaller holes, and I, I did just drill them randomly, just to make it look more natural. and uh, the depths were all different as well. 
So then um, I gave them a stain, so I alternated them. So I did two with uh, some green fence stain, which is again water-based, and uh, the other two with gray fence stain. So now I was going to uh, use that log. So um, I just worked out the uh, the length that I needed, and this was going to sit on top of this uh, main box section. So I couldn't cut all the way through with my uh, miter saw. So I just finished off the cut with the hand saw. So before I attached it, um, I decided to drill some holes in this as well. And then to attach it, I just roughly worked out where the middle was. And then I drilled a hole through the box so that I could then attach it with a screw from underneath. So now it was time to work out um, how big I wanted the roof to be. And I think it was about nine inches on both sides. So uh, for this I used another piece of pallet wood, but a wider piece. And as you can see, I'm cutting one section slightly longer than the other, so that they, they end up symmetrical. And then I attached the, uh, the roof together with some glue and uh, three screws. And uh, I used grey fence stain for the roof. So to attach those blocks into the main section, um, first of all I put plenty of glue in there and then uh, I placed them in and then later on I drilled a screw um, through each side. So uh, each one has one screw going into the side just to hold it in place. So I had some scrap uh, artificial grass that um, I didn't know what to do with. I've got a roll of it. So I thought I'd use it to uh, to put on top of the roof to make it look more interesting, but uh, more natural as well. And it also gives insects somewhere to sort of hide in. So I attached it onto the roof, just with some galvanized roofing nails. And I think it looked really good. Um, so the next thing to do was to attach the roof. So what I did is I drilled some screws through the roof um, where them angles are, those right angles, so that they uh, kind of disappear and you can't see them. And I also screwed some into the log at the top, just to hold it all together. And then the last part of it was to um, to cut. I've got some old bamboo canes of uh, two different thicknesses, and I've got some old sticks as well that I got off my tree. So um, I went ahead, cut them all to equal lengths, and uh, the bamboo is really good because it's hollow, so insects can go inside it. So those um, those voids that you see there, I just went ahead and packed out with all those sticks and pieces of bamboo. And at this point I thought it was looking really good. Um, I've seen quite a few of these in different garden centres, so I thought I'd have a go at making one. And it turned out pretty nice. So I had these feet from, I think from a piece of furniture from a while ago. Um, so I decided to add them to the bottom because um, it, it turned out to be quite heavy. So I thought it'd be quite good to have it on the ground. Um, it can also hang up, but if I want it on the ground, 
um, it's not going to fall over because it's quite heavy and I just wanted to raise it off the ground slightly so um, I added these feet on and for that I just used a screw and a washer and then I added a ring um, at the top so that I could hang it on a fence as well so um, depending on what time of the year it is I might want to have it hanging on a fence or I might want to have it on the ground so that's how it looked at the end I was really pleased with how it turned out um, I didn't have a plan for it when I started just kind of went with the flow and as you can see it looks good on the ground and um, I'm going to just put it up on the fence now you'll see that in a moment so try it yourself it's just all scrap materials bits and bobs lying around that you can find pretty much anywhere and it's good for the environment it, it attracts insects into your garden which is great if you like to watch birds or you, you've got if you've got a pond and you want frogs to come in or hedgehogs things like that so as always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time and uh, if you like the video please remember to, remember to like and also consider subscribing as well for more videos